this is Raina. Thank you for joining me on my crochet channel. In this tutorial, I will show you how to crochet the Pico Mesh Shawl. And um, this project started with me finding this beautiful yarn by Lion Brand. It's a stretchy one. And in these beautiful pastel colors. So I thought that would make a perfect uh summer shawl and um i needed this to be lightweight and sheer so that's why i chose the pico mesh stitch so hopefully this is something uh new for you to learn as well and i would say this is an easy crochet project so just take some time to finish the rows and relax while working on it i definitely enjoyed working on my shawl and uh, let's get started i'm using this uh, beautiful lion brand yarn called summer nights and uh, it is a bonus bundle there's a lot of yarn in this skein um 875 yards 800 meters it is a fine yarn super fine actually weight category number one and this mix of light pastel colors is um called blue lagoon and there's this um very fine silver thread going around the strand which makes it really pretty and uh, a bit fancy and i'm really um, happy about my new crochet hook it's size three millimeters and for some reason um, this size is not very common so it took me a while to find this hook it is um it's called Tulip and it's made in Japan and it's super comfortable to hold this and uh, to use it with a big project like this uh, shawl because we have a lot of stitches to do and I'm going to have the link if you'd like to buy the same hook if you uh, click on written pattern link in the video description and then you can uh, buy the same hook as well as the yarn and uh, let's get started with the shawl this big skein is more than enough for the shawl uh, you can actually even make two out of it depending on how big you want your shawl to be and to start first make a slip knot Then chain five, two, three, four, five, and slip stitch in the beginning chain to make a ring. And from here, we are starting the rows, the first row. Start with four chains, three, four, and then I'm gonna turn. And now double crochet twice in the ring one and two then chain two and we're going to double crochet three times also in the ring one two and three and this is the first row the first four chains count as the uh, first double crochet uh, round uh, row two these are actually rows because uh, each time we finish the row we have to turn so it's not really round but um first i'd like to start with uh, making my four chains and then turn 
and now I'm going to um, make two double crochet stitches between the space here of this last and uh, the middle one here on previous so insert hook here and make two double crochets now chain two and in this two chain space we're going to do two half double crochets one and two then chain two and two more half double crochets in the same space two. then chain two and uh, make three double crochet stitches now in this space here between this double crochet and that chain post so in here three one two three finished row two and row three again chain four so it always starts the same chain four and turn And again, we're going to now double crochet in space here between this last double crochet and that middle one here. Two double crochets here. Then chain two. And in this two chain space, first make a single crochet. And this is where we're going to make our first pico. So these are three chain picots, but when you usually um, finish the pico with a slip stitch in the first chain here, then with this pattern, it's going to look much better to uh, slip stitch in that single crochet stitch. So I'm going to insert my hook through this loop through this horizontal loop and also through the vertical loop. So these two loops of that single crochet and do my slip stitch. That way the pico will stay more in place here in the middle. And after pico, we chain two here. And again, this is the middle two chain space in here with two Again, uh, two half double crochets, two chains, and two more half double crochets, all in one space. And now on the other side, again, chain two, single crochet in this two chain space. Again, make pico, one, two, three chains, and again, inserting hook through this horizontal loop and this vertical loop make a slip stitch second pico chain two and now we'll make uh, three double crochets between the space in the space between this double crochet and the beginning chain here so three two three and we finished row number three and row number four again chain four turn double crochet two in space between last and that middle double crochet of last round chain two in this two chain space single crochet and make a pico one two three and now uh, we're going to chain five so it's good to remember when you go over the pico then it needs to be five chains three four five and 
reach over and into this next two chain space make a single crochet and pico two three and now chain two in this middle two chain space we always do the two half double crochets two chains and two more half double crochets and on the other side the same chain two in this two chain space single crochet make a pico next chain five two three four five and reach into that next two chain space and make single crochet and pico then chain two and the last three double crochets go in this space between double crochet and beginning chain two three and now this is going to uh, repeat so let's do a few more rows together row five start with four chains and turn two double crochets in here then two chains single crochet in the two chain space make a pico then chain five two three four five single crochet in the next five chain space and make also pico here chain five three four five and single crochet in that next two chain space and make pico chain two in the middle two chain space uh, half double two half double crochets two chains two half double crochets and chain two single crochet the next two chain space and pico chain five three four five in the five chain space also make single crochet and pico chain five two three four five in the two chain space single crochet and pico chain two and finish with three double crochets in here row uh, six four chains turn and two double crochets two chains single crochet and pico five chains two three four five single crochet five chain space and pico three five chains two, three four five next five chain space single crochet and pico chain 
chain five, two, three, four, five. The next two chain space, single crochet and pick up. Chain two, and here two half double crochets, two chains, and two half double crochets. Chain two, single crochet and pick up. Chain five, three, four, five. Single crochet in five chain space and pick up. Chain five, three, four, five. Five chain space, single crochet and pick up. Chain five. Three, four, five, two chain space, single crochet and pick up. Chain two and three double crochets in here. So you'll see how this pattern repeats and with each row the shawl gets bigger because we're adding the chain chains and picos and it's a great pattern to keep count of your rows just uh, go here and count one two three four five six rows done And now uh, just keep repeating these uh, rows. And um, with uh, each row, you'll see more and more um, these corners kind of curving um, upwards. So this is not a perfect triangle shawl. So that is okay. That's how this pattern works. It's because we're doing lots of chains here. So... Um, 
I'm going to uh, add pictures now uh, how my shawl looks uh, when it's getting bigger and then uh, we'll see the finished shawl at the end. And keep uh, repeating these rows, um, however uh, big you want your shawl to be at the end. Um, I did the total of uh, 60 rows, so it's uh, up to you. And this is how it looks after 15 rows. So this yarn is great uh, because it's uh, stretchy and you can really shape it. But as you see, these corners, they curve, kind of look like wings. And here is my finished shawl. So it took me a few days to uh, finish it because it's uh, quite big and uh, I'm not uh, very fast, but uh, I don't think that matters. It's, it was really enjoyable to make this. So I hope you have fun as well. It uh, came out quite big, so I'll try to show it to you. It's not gonna show the whole shawl here but let's see so this is why it's a great pattern you can make the shawl as big as you like just by um, adding uh, more rows and um, let me know if you have any questions uh, thank you so much for watching my tutorial and happy crocheting!